Yeah, Tim, thanks for talking about how to keep your kids safe from strangers and how they can respond if they're ever in a dangerous situation by themselves. So joining me right now is Captain Robert Palmer of the Southfield Police Department. Captain Palmer, thanks so much for being with Good us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, we talk a lot about stories being parents' worst nightmare, but this is literally a parent's worst nightmare. There is nothing more scary, more terrifying than not being able to find your child. What do we need to say? What conversations do we need to have with our children now to prevent something like this from happening? So you want to start those conversations very early, as early as you can and mm -hmm. be comfortable with that. Um, these are lifetime conversations. You want to start with something simple like, hey, it's okay to say no to mm -hmm. a stranger. You, you know, We don't want to make it appropriate for our kids to either hug people or say hi to people they don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, we want to make sure that they trust their instincts. One of the things that we know about kids is they tend mm -hmm. to be very aware of when things don't feel right. Mm -hmm. And we want them to be comfortable if they don't feel comfortable around a person to say something or, or get away from them. That is very true. Children sense a person's energy. Yeah, they do. And, they and really do. We can, as parents and, and guardians, we can kind of help them be comfortable with if I'm not good in this situation, how do I get out of it? Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things we would encourage people to do is consider creating, you know, a secret code word. Mm -hmm. If if someone has to get picked up by a, a friend or a relative they're not familiar with, that code word would allow them to say, hey, this person for sure is somebody that I know my parents sent uh, so I can go with them and be safe. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk a little bit more about if a child is in a situation where they don't feel comfortable with mm -hmm. and they're alone. So one of the things we want our kids to be able to do is like if, they, if they're not comfortable, then get away, mm -hmm. be alert, get away right away, go find another adult or crowded area and immediately start engaging people in conversations. You mm -hmm. tell them to say, hey, say to someone, that's not someone I know they're following me. Right. That person right there is trying to follow me around. They asked me to go with them to find a dog or they wanted to offer me an ice cream. Mm -hmm. If you say that to a person, as adults, we would recognize that as unusual behavior and we're probably going to help that kid right away. And as parents, often in situations where we're in the public, we want to tell our kids to like behave, use your restaurant voice mm -hmm. or use your respectful voice. But in this situation, it's all thrown out the window. Yeah, you Yell, know. scream, kick, exactly. do whatever you can to raise attention. If it suddenly gets to a situation where someone tries to, you know, in this case, uh, like in New York where they were abducted, you mm -hmm. want to be able to tell them it's okay to fight and yell and scream really loud. But they have to be specific. This is not my parent. Help me call 911. Those are things that would get someone's attention. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. I know that code word is another good reminder, too, to set that up. Have that conversation with your family, with your kids. Everybody has the same code word. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in.